hello guys you're welcome thank you so so much for clicking so pastor gino jenny's claimed that jesus is not the son of god but adam so let's watch all right next letter this final letter says jesus christ is the son of god uh, it simply says jesus is one true god but son of the one true god Jesus is the one true God, uh -huh. but son of the one true God. So obviously you want to know whether Jesus Christ was God or the son of God. 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 Right. Yes. Amen. All right, let me open that up. Now I want to take my time and get a trail mix of scriptures. Amen. So you better pay attention to me real good. Let us understand the nature of God. That's yeah. right. John First, chapter let four. us know God's nature. John chapter 4 and at verse 24. Follow me. God is a spirit. I want the nature of God. Also get the nature of angels. Mm -hmm. And get the nature that God did not take on. That's right. That's right. I want the nature of God. The nature of angels. <laughs> and it. the nature that God it did not. not yeah. That's right. Yeah. Did not. That's right. Take on. Mm -hmm. Now viewers and listeners. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Spirit. He's eternal, That's it. Yes. perpetual, mm -hmm. celestial, mm -hmm. everlasting, mm -hmm. have no beginning, mm -hmm. have no ending. Mm -hmm. Amen. God don't have a birthday. Yeah. That's right. God is everywhere. That's right. God is in the universe, mm -hmm. and listen to what I'm about to tell you, and above the universe. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. That's right. I say God, God the yeah. eternal spirit, is in the universe Amen. and above the universe. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4 yeah. and at verse 10. Because the word of God said he's higher, right. higher, 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 mm -hmm. higher mm -hmm. than heaven, heaven, deeper than hell, mm -hmm. broader than the sea, mm -hmm. and longer than the earth. Than the earth. Amen. That's God. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. That's the nature of spirit. Spirit. Amen. God, the spirit, was the one that breathed into Adam. That's right. Go ahead. Adam became a living soul. Yes, sir. that's right. God, the everlasting spirit. Now, the nature of the angels is the same nature that God had. In Hebrews chapter 1. Yeah. And at verse 7. What is it? And of the angels, he saith. Who maketh his angels spirits. He made his angels what? Who maketh his angels spirits. And what nature do God have? God is a spirit. So the angels in heaven are not flesh and blood. That's right. The angels in heaven are not begotten like men. That's right. The angels in heaven are spirits. Spirits. Think of it. God is the only spirit mm -hmm. that didn't have a beginning. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. It's a wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you getting this? That's right. Do spirit have a beginning? It depends what spirit. That's what right. Spirit? That's exactly right, sir. Wonderful. God. Because spirit. Hebrew lets me know Who that it? spirit can have a beginning. That's right. Because he's the originator. Amen. That's right. The Bible says he's the father of it. That's Amen. right. Then it says so. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, should we not rather? Be subject unto the Father of Spirit. Let's, let's read this. Amen. Let's read this. Amen. Shall we not rather be subject to the originator or the Father? You know the Bible talk about we have fathers in our past that have corrected us. Amen. But if we be without chastisement, wherein all are partakers, then it says you are bastards. Mm -hmm. And not a son. In Hebrews chapter 12 and at verse 9. Read fast. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which correct we us. We had fathers of our flesh that correct us. And we gave them reverence. And we honored them. Shall we not much rather be in subjection? Should we not rather be in subjection? Unto the father of spirits. So, wait a minute. Should we not subject ourselves to the creator of, of spirits, spirits and live? And live. That's right. right. So depending upon that spirit, yes. It has a beginning. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, but God. No beginning, sir. Has no beginning. From everlasting. God says. In, in Psalms 90 and verse 2. <coughs> from everlasting. Even from everlasting. Even from everlasting. To everlasting. To everlasting. Thou art God. So God is the only spirit. 
that don't have a beginning That's right. and don't have an ending. Mm -hmm. Only God himself. Amen. Now God created all other spirits. He said, I create good, I create evil. evil. He created Gabriel, yeah, right. he created Michael, God, he created true. Azariah, he created all the heavenly hosts. That's right. right. In fact, in the book of Genesis, they tell you how he created the heavenly hosts, That's right. Right. which are the angels. That's right. But God, nature, spirit. spirit. Amen. Being an eternal spirit, everlasting, no beginning, no ending. We, the human family, fell. Fell. And still fallen. That's right. Adam was the first man. Get what I'm telling you. And Adam was the first earthly human being Amen. that was called Son of God. That's right. First one, sir. Wonderful. Get me. In the book Amen. of St. Luke, chapter 3. Get me. Viewers and listeners and hard head blind folk. Amen. Adam was the first fleshy human being oh, yes. that was called son. son of God. That's right. Listen. In Luke chapter 3 and at verse 38. What is it? Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Enos. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Seth. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of God. Amen. The first Adam son was God. called son of God, son of God. God son. and he was not begotten. That's, That's right. right. He was called God's son because he was made in the image of God. That's right. And he was the servant of God. Amen. And even the first son of God consists of flesh and blood. That's, That's right. right. Get me. Amen. There never, never, never was no flesh and blood in heaven. No, no. No flesh and blood started in heaven. No, no. No flesh and blood came from heaven. That's right. No flesh and blood ever lived in heaven. That's right. Amen. No flesh and blood Amen. ever ascended That's right, into sir. heaven. Amen. Flesh and blood is earthly material. That's right. That's right. And flesh and blood came from the earth. Amen. Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is, is flesh. Amen. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That's right. That's right. Born of the flesh. Amen. That's right. Amen. Adam came from the flesh. From the flesh. From the earth yield up that body. That's right. Formed them from the dust of the ground. Amen. Now, after God made that son of God, Adam. Adam, the first Adam. The first man. The first man. Then God. Here, here, here. Amen. God made him first. That's right. That's it. And then God got in him. That's Amen. right. Amen. And he became living, living, living. Yes, there were other sons of God that came before the time of Jesus. But the reason why Jesus was, I think, I believe, Jesus was exceptional was because the way God used him differently than the other sons or prophets. You get it? So, I love his explanation, but he didn't go, like, go deeper and straightforward. He was not straightforward in his explanation. They asked him, is Jesus the son of God or is it God? And you kept on talking about, you know, Adam was also the son of God. All these people that God used in the Bible that are also the son of God. And he used Adam to finish his sermon. Indirectly, he's just trying to let us understand that son of God can only be brought in flesh. No, Jesus' death was exceptional. For Jesus' death to be exceptional, indirectly, he's trying to let us understand that Jesus is not the Son of God. I think that's what his explanation is based on. But they're just going back and forth, explaining about the Bible, this and that and that. I don't know if the question was well answered. Let me know if you think the pastor actually answered the question or he just gave a tip of the question. So let me know your point of view, guys. We'll keep this discussion going. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.